Okay, good morning boys and girls, it's Grandpa Chris here. This morning I'm heading off to join Martin Williams and the crew. We're going to be going for some of the big beasts that have been put in. Looking at the photographs of those, some of the browns that were stocked yesterday which border, border 20 pound in weight and the rainbows of a similar sort of size. I think getting up at 3.30 in the morning um, is going to be well worth it. Um, don't sort of take too much notice of the time that's posted on the, the dash cam video. Um, I can't be bothered um, changing it. Um, it is exactly 4 o'clock in the morning. I've got about a two and a half, two and three quarter hour run ahead of me and I'm really looking forward to it. So sit back and enjoy the ride um, and I'll wake you up when we get there. Uh, the high journey listening to your show makes me feel so happy. I never really listened to your breakfast show on Radio 1. I was very young then. But up again now, great stuff and uh, love from South of the 60s. Thank you very much. Anna Harrison. Tony, we saw you in Bolton on your uh, Sound of the 60s theatre show and enjoyed the show immensely. At the moment we're sat in the by on our way to Stalford taking Christmas presents to our family. Merry Take a 1-0 lead in the series. So, uh, wakey, wakey, boys and girls. Um, just arrived here at uh, Letch Lake. Just been invited in. Sorry for the back of this. I think the weather, after a bright frosty start in the east, held and rain in the west, will spread to most parts. Temperatures will reach highs of 8 Celsius in Manchester, 9 in London and Edinburgh, and 11 in Belfast. So, good morning boys and girls. It's Grandpa Chris here. Down at Lechlade with um, Martin. Uh, and the team, we're in a bit of a, a gathering today. There's about 28 of us, something like that. Uh, we're meeting some great new friends. Yesterday, oh, yeah. and we were blowing, and the fish were right into that wind that was at the top end. But today, the wind's turned round southern, so the yeah. weather they'll change. But yesterday, into the teeth of the wind, it was hard work that was going to fish it. Hmm. Looking, yeah, at, looking, at those, looking at those pictures that they posted late last night, <laughs> my comment was scary, scarily big. It'll be interesting on my on Andy's five weight. You want a sinking line? Right? Yeah, I've got that screw. I've got um, an intermediate and a float uh, a sink tip. You're okay. I got. I've probably got a dive three if you want one. I'm all right. I'm You're all right. Maybe I'll try. Yeah, I've only got a five weight rod, mate. I'll um, I'll see how I get on. Mate. Yeah, there's a dive three if you want a dive three straight down. All right. That's, um, I'll see how I get on. Yeah. <laughs> So excited, so excited. I didn't sleep last night. <laughs> Two reasons. Um, just an incredible bit of banter going on. The atmosphere is amazing, isn't it? It's all good fun. And it's good like that when you've got yeah. a crowd that you know. You know, it's, a, mm. it's, all, it's all your mates, all your regulars, a good crowd. And yeah, it's the best way to do it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Red? I might need to be bagged up by then. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. He's one of these guys, if the cup's half full, get a smaller cup and transfer it over. Yeah. Okay, so. Right. We're off. So today I'm using a two rod setup. I've got the five weight 
uh, nine foot that Andy made for me and um, that's got a floating line on it and I've, initially I've put on a, um, an egg pattern which I'll fish about four feet under a bung and I've got my favourite airflow nine foot six um, rocket um, again fitted with the intermediate fast sink intermediate line and that's got one of Martin's black leech patterns on um, so we've got the bases covered over the last couple of days there's been some very big fish reported um, and the pictures yesterday put on the the website of some scarily big fish um, fish bordering the 20 pound mark um, which are in the water there put in specially for Martin and his group so let's see how things go so to start with I'm going to come in here this is the first swim um, here on the, the house pool um, quite a few fish moving around and I'm going to start off with the, the intermediate line Okay, so first cast of the day, yeah, a lot of movement on the water. So we've got a black leech pattern on. Uh, it's the fast sinking intermediate line. Let it sink. A little figure of eight retrieve. And there's somebody into a fish over the far side already. There's a guy over on the far side there, fishing less than a minute. First chuck, and I just heard Martin shout across. He's had a 20 pound rainbow trout. 20 pound fish to start the day. Very first cast. Utterly extraordinary. Going over there on the other boat is playing a fish. He's got his rod bent over quite nicely. Just coming to the net now. And that's a decent fish. Yeah, it's a decent fish. It looks like a double. Well done. Neil carries into a fish. Chasing one in particular over there for the last 40 minutes or so. It's actually been quite slow this morning. I think there's only been three or four fish caught so far. A couple down at the bottom end. The big one, one on the boat and now Neil's fish. We'll all be going in for breakfast fairly soon. So we'll be able to sit and have a chat and talk tactics. He's very good at what he does. There's water on the main street, Neil will catch a fish out of it.
Yeah, it seems like quite a nice fish. As I'm sitting here watching the fish and listening to so many different species of birds, and it I'll stay with it and film it going into the net. Or have something to put onto the video later on. It's in the net. And it looks like a double. Nice fish, Neil. Look at this bunch of reprobates here. <laughs> hey, all talking about healthy diets. Yeah, unfortunately I'm lying. We've all had about a dozen slices of toast each. Right, I'm going to get in contact with my mates at the Nick and see if any of you are needed. <laughs> I retired from that four years ago, I ain't going back. Do you notice how my camera is always drawn to a beautiful young lady? This thing, I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to check this one out for its... Um, yeah, two beautiful young ladies. Thank you very much. So is Martin doing the paperwork? Yeah, you do. I Okay, so part two. Um, just finished breakfast. Um, really tasty, local um, family butcher made sausages, bacon, which are absolutely delicious, bullet tomatoes, lots of mushrooms, lots of baked beans. It's going to get noisy in the car later on. So part two now, um, I'm going to head down to the bottom end of the lake. I've tried the, the house pool to no uh, avail. So I'm going to now go down to the bottom part of the lake, get down there before the rest of the guys come out and see if I can't winkle one or two out. The stories being told in the in the cabin of some decent fish coming off of there. So I want to go and try and nobble one. It's just such a beautiful place to be. It really is. Lech laid. Uh, it's just such a beautiful place to be. The owner was saying that some of the browns that were put in yesterday are getting on towards 30 pounds, not 20, 30, 30 pounds. Now, my comment on the pictures was they were scarily big. 
Um, I think the thought of catching one is scary. But here we go. So I may not have been able to get any to stick today. So I'm. Um, but when you see little ones on the bank like that, absolutely amazing. The middle one's a good double figure fish. I mean, the small one's about seven pound. And then you've got the banana shaped trout like this one. Hang on. Just want to get some footage of the the puppies. Again, you've got at least one double figure fish there, and the others are about eight pound. Yeah, that's up in that tree there somewhere. Okay, so. Finally, after four hours, I have a fish on. No, uh, um, copper and gold stalking bug. Yeah. Got it right down on the bottom and it got slammed straight up. Yeah. Well, I felt it nibble a few times and then all of a sudden it's gone very stiff. And he's off. So, I had one. First touch of the day, let's make sure the hook hasn't straightened out. Well, that was nice. So, um, um, Feeling something very heavy on the line. I'm fishing with one of Martin's copper stalking bugs, which I've been pulling through, allowing it to go quite deep. Going underneath the staging at the moment. I want it to go underneath there. And you come away from there. You come away from there. rainbow trout. I'm still using the five weight float rod that Andy made for me and this is by a long way the biggest fish I've had on it. A 
I don't think it's quite a double. It is quite close to being a double. He's a double. He's a double. Come back to you in a moment. Okay. So, first fish of the day, it's just after 12.30. A fish, I would say, between 12 and 13 pounds. Caught on the market in Williams copper and gold stalking bug with the, the red head. Easily the biggest fish I've had on the, the bloke rod. The rod handled it absolutely magnificently. Custom made for Grandpa Chris by Andy Banting. That's the fourth fish I've had on that rod. And that's easily the biggest. I am so pleased with that. It's been a hard struggle today. I'm fishing an area where everybody just walks past because there's no room for a back cast. You can see the trees are very, very close to the, the edge of the lake. Um, I went out about maybe 30 feet away from the bank on a, a skate cast. And there we go. Let's pick it up. Oh yeah, it's it's easily a double. Easily a double. Easily a double. Twelve thirteen. Ah, uh, it's fish on. There's another one on the copper and gold. Just letting it go right down and just sort of very very slow twitches. Yeah I pulled out of one. He didn't like me waving the net at him.
seems to be a bit angry. So we're using the 12 pound Grand Max Barrage line as a tippet. So there's plenty of strength in the, the tippet. It looks like a very good hook hold. This rod is amazing. And debanting this rod is absolutely amazing. If I was using my Gray's 5 weight, I would just wouldn't stand a chance. And he's in the net. It's a smaller fish of about six pounds. Nonetheless, very beautiful, very, very welcome. Tell you what, I'm breathing heavily at the moment and my knees are knocking. I'm going to take a picture of that one. So there you are. So he's between five and six pounds. You can see the copper and gold stalking bug made by Martin Williams in its mouth there. That's fish number two. I'm very pleased with that. And Andy, that rod is just amazing. The way that it's handling these fish is absolutely superb. Boys and girls, you could do a lot worse than get in contact with Andy Banting if you're looking for a decent fly rod. He'll make them to your own specifications. And you contact him, just mention my name. Um, and I'll be very happy. God bless you. Six hours in, and the famous, <laughs> notorious, infamous, infamous multi-talented, handsome, good-looking, well-rounded individual Richard has yeah. finally I know I'm safe for a couple of minutes, I can say that and then run. So he went over onto one of the little stalking bugs as well. Yeah. They're certainly meaningful takes, that's for sure. He's a nice fish too. Let me get your net ready for you. Yeah. Are you happy for me to net it? Okay. Doesn't want to come in. I think we'll call this one the mother-in-law fish. Stubborn, non-compliant and aggressive. And he's in the net, my dear brother. He's in the net. You're going to need more than one or two chips to go with that. Yeah. Okay. Very nice indeed. Hold him up for your adoring public. Well done. 
that is a beautiful fish. Look at the paddle on the end of that. Yeah. And that's exactly the same fly that I was having all of my luck on. Orange head thing. Yeah. So I changed it. So third caster, right? Not like. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Right. Well done. That sounded somewhat sarcastic. I don't know whether you noticed that. No. <laughs> Ironically, I've just changed over to one of the blue ones. You know, the fluorescent blue ones. I might be going back to a redhead in a minute. That's all it is. Let it go right down. So I'll give this blue one 10 minutes and then I'll go back to the red. Martin, I know a bloke who ties some wonderful flies with red heads on them. Just wondering, do you play golf? <laughs> it's a good walk spoilt by hitting something round along the grass. No, absolutely no interest in the blue, so I'm going to go back to the copper. So my spray is in again. This one seems to be a little bit better. Yeah, he seems to be fighting differently, doesn't he? I was watching one of the videos where you had one suspended static underneath the, the bung and that was just slaughtering them. I tried that earlier on and I thought, yeah, you have to be left-handed to do that. That's a better fish. It's in your box. Yeah, I feel like a bit of a booby, but never mind. <laughs> yeah. Where's That's a good eight. That's a good eight pound. There you go, boys and girls. Richard strikes again. Turn away whilst he does the business. Yeah, that's a very, very nice fish. And once again with the, the redhead firebird. Roger that. Yep. Once again a very, very nice fish there. 
Yeah, a nice brace. Maybe a pound heavier. Yeah. All done. Hello, Tom Tom. I'm listening. Go home. Do you want to go home? Yes. Finding a route home. Okay, boys and girls, Grandpa Chris heading home after an absolutely wonderful day hosted by Martin Williams and 20 plus of his closest friends, a great fisherman. I've spent much of the afternoon fishing with the legend that is Richard Lindsay. <coughs> it was a struggle initially, but as I've said in the past, there's always a way. And once I found something that worked, Richard moved on to it. At that stage, he'd not had a single take. He had three fish in 25 minutes. Um, we both come home feeling very, very happy. My biggest fish weighed in at 12 pounds 4 ounces. Um, my new personal best at Letch Lake. Um, the way that Andy's rod controlled that fish was just spectacular. I had to bully the fish because it tried to get under the pontoon on a number of occasions. But it was just absolutely amazing the way that it held on to that fish. So thank you uh, Martin. Thank you Richard. And Sean. Um, Matt. Just absolutely wonderful day. Tight lines, boys and girls. This is Grandpa Chris signing off till the next one. Stay safe, and if I don't speak to you before, have a very happy Christmas and a wonderful New Year. But please be careful out there with this new COVID strain. I'd hate to think that any of you have suffered because of it. God bless you, one and all.